If you've been following the spread of the novel coronavirus as it makes its way across the country, you've probably also heard about the growing concerns over shortages of protective face masks for medical personnel and anyone who has become infected by the virus. Many people are hoping to help the situation by putting together face masks themselves with fabric and other items they have at home. With so many DIY patterns available on the internet, I started to wonder whether those do-it-yourself face masks even work and whether local hospitals would even use them. Here's what I found out when I talked with Avera's Vice President of Quality and Data Integration, Stacy Erickson. Stacy, thank you for joining me. We've all seen in the news across the country that there is a need for hand sewn masks in certain areas. And I know you at Avera have done a lot of, of research to know what would be the most useful for somebody that did need one. How did you choose the pattern that you chose? We had a very talented seamstress, um, the sister of one of our um, supply chain folks who actually experimented with different patterns and brought them in for us to share and try on. And we just used that, you know, it wasn't anything scientific that our selection method was, which ones fit the tightest, which ones were the most comfortable, and also, you know, ease of making um, a, ni a nice mask. You're saying t-shirt fabric, if it's new, not like your old used t-shirts, would be the primary choice. And then second would be like a quilter's cotton. Those are the two fabrics. And we did do a little bit of infection control research on that. We are, we are treading in new waters here. So there is not a lot of research, but we wanted the one that um, had the least penetration of anything that would be an aerosol. And um, we did the best we could to make a recommendation there. When times like this and people are home, if they are able to help by sewing, help anyone help right here or help anywhere in the U.S., they really appreciate being able to do it. But now they can do it with some guidance from Avera. Right. If they can stay home and do social isolation and sew some masks, it's a great, it's a great project to keep you busy. So we appreciate your questions and having us on today. Well, thank you very much. So you've been working extremely hard to try and do your research and get down to the bottom of this pattern. So tell me yes. a little bit about what you ended up coming up with. Well, I've been looking at this for a couple of weeks because I, I saw it coming out a lot in places, other places in the U.S. where they've really hit their surge first. And different hospitals are using different patterns, and I wanted to know what would be the best. And this pattern that Avera actually has provided is the same pattern that was provided by a hospital in Iowa, and they had done a lot of research. They worked with a um, hospital in Boston that actually had an innovation and materials team, okay. and they tested it out, and they came up with this pattern and it's the one Avera is using now. It is important to note that Avera does not believe they are going to run out of face masks. They are not in need of face masks right now. They just, as I did, heard a lot of people asking, what should we make if we want to help? And so they wanted to sort of give this informed opinion. And this isn't right. something that would be used to replace the protective wear that's out there if they have that. Okay. But the CDC has come and said, if you don't have that, if that's not an option, fabric fabric face masks they can work so and we're gonna share this pattern on our page as well so when you find this article on our Kellen living page you can use this exact pattern but so let's just walk try through and it. break you down okay so if you go and get the pattern and this is be on our website or Vera's what they have is they've print they give you sort of these pieces and the dotted line is to make it a medium size the line on the outside is to make it in a large size so you just pick what size you're going to make. They, you know, both sizes are needed. And then you cut these out. What I actually like to do is use tracing paper and just trace over it because I, I feel like it, it's a lot easier to work with right. than paper. So you've got your different pieces out here. And then you're just going to take fabric, pins, pin your pattern to your fabric, cut it out with the scissors. And then that is how you got yeah. this so part. I have done that for us because I felt like we knew how to do the cutting. And so here I have three pieces to make a medium face mask. The larger piece is the really what's going to be the front of the mask when you're done. Then we have these two side pieces. They're calling these cheek pieces on the pattern. And then this is a mouthpiece. Now what's really good about this pattern is it creates a pocket that a filter can be added to. Okay. And that's what makes it more useful in a medical situation if there's medical people using it in hospitals. So all you're going to do is you're going to start by taking the two outside pieces and putting them together. Now I'm going to give you one little tip I learned while I was doing this is that I used a fabric that had a pattern that I could tell what was going up. So I okay. used these, what are these? Flamingos. Flamingos. So the flamingo, that way 
once I cut all my pieces together, it was easy for me to be able to tell what way they went together because my flamingos are always standing upright. Okay. And yeah. I think you heard in that in that um, clip that they actually recommend a jersey, like a t-shirt fabric, which is great. But if you're not a sewer, start with cotton. This is a good alternative, and it's easier to use. And once you feel comfortable, then move to the jersey. So I'm okay. just going to show you with this. And getting that upright pattern is good. So you're just going to put right sides together, and then you just put it in your machine. And for this piece, you're just sewing along this top curve only. Okay. And so then you just put it in. And put your, and then you sew your piece together. You're really fast at that. And then you have, <laughs> thank you. And then you have the front of your face mask. So you can see how that's going to be the front. Okay. Now I'll walk you through just how you sew the other two. Now for the cheek piece, what you're going to do is you're going to sew only. You're going to take the wide edges, the long side, the side that's the longest, mm -hmm. fold it in so that there's a little hem, and you're going to sew that hem piece only. And that's because when that pocket's there, you don't want it to unravel. Okay. On the cheek piece, you're going to sew right sides together along the curve, and also you're going to fold the inside hem in so that it doesn't unravel. So we've got these done here. This is that mouthpiece, so it's sewn together there and it's got the hem sewn in. I've got two cheek pieces with just hem sewn, and I've got my face, outer face mask, okay? Okay. Now when you do this, now I'm gonna put my face mask down, because it's gonna end up getting sewn together, and then I'm going to make sure mine are right side up again. The mouthpiece is gonna go in the center, and then these are going to be on the outside. Now, the, my way of doing this, there, on the pattern, there's a dotted line you can kind of figure out how to attach to. Okay. But what's easy to do is you're going to, so it's going to be, you're just going to see where it matches up on its own. And it's pretty obvious where it kind of matches yeah, up. Yeah, it lines up. Where yeah. it lines up. So I line it up like that, throw two pins in here, and then all you're going to do on this part, on both sides, is you're going to do just a little stitch right there and right there, and that's just to hold it together as you attach the rest of it. It's not really part of the overall um, kind of holding it together in the long run. It just gets it together. Okay. So what it's going to end up looking like after you do that is this. See how it's just kind of, this is the inside of my mask kind of tacked together. Yeah. And this is the outside. So now put the two right sides together, just kind of, so you've got that. That's just like that. This is the like, oh. Yep. The pattern. And then th th put this one on top. So you just kind of together. tuck. Now you have these two pieces. Tuck them together. And then you're going to sew all the way around. Okay. And this is where the magic is. You can unflip it like a pillowcase. Just like pull it out. Start flipping it. Oh! And it's going to be right side out. So you just start flipping it out, and then, then the mask is essentially done. And if you want to just send me that one and then the rubber bands, too. Now, Avera has provided a couple of options for attaching them. One is a piece of elastic all the way around your head. But if you don't have elastic, one easy thing that a lot of hospitals are doing, including the one that originally made this, is you've got the finished mask here, and you see it's got this pocket. You're going to take the hair tie, put it on the end, fold in this, do a little seam, and then you see you've got right there where you can attach it to your ear, and it comes over. And it it's really, it works, good. really works well. Now, the other, another hospital that's using this in Iowa, the other thing they liked about this pattern is that because of the pocket, you can also insert a piece of wire, a pipe cleaner, or a wax twist tie into this top, and it makes the nose bendable so that it has that piece that can really form to the nose Make bridge sure nothing's getting so in So nothing there. comes in. So this is a really robust pattern. Yeah, and you really simplified it for us. So thank you so much, Ashley, for bringing this in and teaching us how to do this. I'm going to teach you to sew after yes. this so we can keep making them.